Tell me about that ring. I gave this ring to my um, significant other 21 years ago when I married him 23. In 20, 2003, I had met her because my grandmother had deceased and she was a sister of my aunt's, my uncle's wife. <clears throat> I met Miss Renee Hester and uh, immediately I, I been become attracted to her because she is a very beautiful, gorgeous woman. She's probably the most gorgeous, attractive woman I've ever seen in my entire life. She not only had an attractive, attractive face and a beautiful body, but she also had an attractive personality, and uh, that's what attracted to me to her, because she was such a tremendous person. Now, you said she passed away recently, right? Uh, the night before last, 10 p.m. What happened? Her liver and her kidneys had shut down because she was uh, a full-blown alcoholic and she drank like a fish. Up until 90 days ago, they admitted her to the nursing home after they drained her liver because she rushed the liver. <clears throat> and she had uh, alcoholism and alcohol had just taken a toll on his, her body and her uh, organs. and. Uh, they could no, no longer function. How old was she? 61 years old. You knew uh, her for many years then? 23, 2003. My goodness sake. And this is the ring you said. I want to show you the ring. That ring is uh, carved out of my birthstone, which is topaz in the shape of heart. That represents my love for her. Uh. Now, how did you guys meet, you said? Um, I, I came up here to see my grandmother in the uh, Middletown Hospital, Middletown, Ohio Hospital, and she had deceased because God had a better job for her also to be his, her, his angel in heaven. And my grandmother went on to be home with the Lord. And so I met her because she had uh, served... Uh, the, the dinner for my grandmother's funeral. She had worked for Dillman's Foods and catered the food there for uh, my grandmother's dill, the, uh, funeral dinner, and that's how I met her. And she you was said, the chicken lady. <laughs> she was the what? A chicken lady. She made the best chicken in the world. Oh, okay. Not only did she have a tremendous personality, but she's also a great cook, which also attracted me to her. And you said she was the most beautiful woman you had ever seen? Yes. And you miss her a lot? I miss her tremendously. I, I knew that uh, God had a more important job than taking care of me. And in the end, of course, I changed her shoe diaper. I did everything for her. I took care of her until I couldn't do it no more. And I had to send her to the nursing home because her stomach had swollen so bad that uh, she had to have it drained, her liver drained. So that's how she ended up in the, in the nursing home. And she uh, got dehydrated there and they took her to the hospital and she died there the night before last. So it's still fresh on my mind, and we got to make the funeral arrangements um, Monday. You don't have a picture of her? Um, not on me. Oh, okay. At home I do. I've got a whole box of pictures and everything to give her daughter. We're going to pick a few pictures to share um, at the funeral. <clears throat> we can't afford the bear, so she's going to be cremated by the state of Ohio. The city is going to cremate her, you said? The state. Oh, the state's going to cremate her? Because you can't afford now She wanted, Miss Renee wanted a, a mausoleum. I said, look, look, Renee, you're not marrying her. But she said, I don't want to be buried, and I do not want to be cremated. Well, if we do have to, if we do have to, 
if we do have to cremate you, what do you want me to do? To the, uh, she asked me to scatter her ashes throughout Mayfield, you know, where she grew up, at Mayfield School, and they hung out to school, and all the things of that nature. And uh, she asked me to scatter her ash ashes. Bobby, I've known you for a while now, and I thank you so much for sharing this painful experience that you're going through. But I want you to know that God is gonna see you through this difficult time. And I pray for you, okay? Thank you, sweetie. I'm searching for my keys. I know I just have them because I took a stupid ring off.